Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the basics of using hinge joints to build a basic door program in Unity. So to start, you're going to want to download the reference files. There will be a link in the description. Uh, the reference files for this project will just be a doorway with a door model. Uh, something you can use to get up and running with the hinge joint in Unity. So to start, we'll open up Unity. We're going to want to make a new project. We'll call this hinges. Wait for Unity to load. All right, so the first thing we want to do once we're in Unity is go to the Asset Store and download the standard assets. We're going to be testing out our hinge joint and our door using Ethan, the basic third-person controller prefab. Um, as always, I'm going to remind you that it, if you're constantly using these standard assets, it might behoove you to create a template unity file where you've already imported and installed uh, the standard asset package as it usually takes a while to download into a project and we're just going to be using it for the third person controller in this video All right, now that we have the standard assets loaded in, we're going to want to build a simple scene. We can do this using the prototyping prefabs. First, we'll pull in a floor and we can zero this out. And that seems to be a standard enough scene for us. Just going to close that. Next, we'll want to pull in the downloaded doorway hinge model that, uh, again, the link will be in the description. So with our doorway hinge pulled in, we we'll want to bring this into our scene. And we can put that wherever we want. Uh, realign our camera to have the doorway in its view. And then we're going to want to pull in our third person character prefab. We can go to the characters file, third person character, prefabs, third person character. Now this uh, third person character starts out a little small so we can set it to four. And now when we go to press play, we see that our character is moving around and going through the door as expected because there's nothing no no components on our on our doorway are the models yet so what we're going to want to do is select this cube one uh, model this is the part of the doorway hinge hierarchy that is the actual door model. We can move it around and see it's right there. But we're going to want to keep it in its default position. And the next thing we want to do is add a component, a hinge joint. And this hinge joint will automatically add a rigid body to our, to our door. We're going to want to set the axis to have Z of 1 because we want this door to swing on the Z axis. Now when we go to play, you can see that nothing is happening yet. When we, we're still walking through this door and that's because we don't yet have a mesh collider for this door. So we're going to want to add a mesh collider to the door. And then also go to the doorway, which is cube within the doorway hinge game object. And we're going to want to set both of these to convex. Now when we go to play, we see the door is kind of acting erratic. Swinging open and... All right, so I guess we don't need the mesh collider on the doorway to be convex. 
just that uh, the door the door's mesh collider is convex. But one thing we notice is that we're getting kind of uh, erratic motion with this door. And this could be due to uh, various different settings within our hinge joint. We can look at uh, most notably the limits because this is a hinge on a doorway. We want it to act like a hinge on a doorway. So we can take off this mesh collider for the main cube. And we see that now uh, the hinge joint has this door completely spinning around the doorway. Because we took off the mesh collider for the, the doorway, the door isn't recognizing any sort of constraints or limits uh, pertaining to the hinge joint. So in order to fix this, we can go into the hinge joint and we can select use limits. We're going to want to make sure that we're out of play, play mode. And then in order to uh, get an understanding of what these limits should be, uh, you have to think of sort of uh, the degree of rotation. So that's zero through 360. And since these are connected to a fixed joint, that is they're connected to the doorway, we're only going to have uh, 180 degrees of motion. So we'll set this minimum to negative 90 and we'll set this maximum to 90. And now when we go through the door, we're getting uh, the correct sort of feedback from our door. But because we took this mesh collider off of the main cube, we're still having issues walking through the doorway, which is not what we want at all. So we can go back to this cube, add a mesh collider, and see if we get our intended output. Yeah, it's acting all weird. So we don't want that to be convex, but we also don't want to be able to walk through it. I think this is an issue of the actual model just being a little bit too small for the actual door. So it's recognizing uh, the mesh collider, but it's recognizing it in this way that makes it so whenever we try to open the door, there's some sort of failure uh, with Unity. So in order to fix that, we can basically change this cube so it's just slightly bigger so we aren't having um, issues with the door getting stuck in the doorway. So to do that, we'll change the Y and we'll change the Z a little bit. And we'll try walking through our door again. Oh my god. And there you have it. Uh, basic doorway with the hinge joint in Unity. Uh, of course, there's still more fiddling you can do with the, uh, the general settings in the hinge joint, but this is the very basic setup that you'll need uh, to set up your doorway.